Hello, friends, and welcome to Virtual Storytime with the Chippewa River District Library. My name is Christy, and today we are going to be talking about one of my and many other people's favorite nursery rhymes, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Let's start off by singing our hello song. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends, it's time to say hello. Welcome! We are going to start off today by telling a felt story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. I'm actually going to do a fun little rap version of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, but you can follow along with me. Once upon a time in a nursery rhyme, there were three bears, a mama, a papa, and a wee bear. And they went walking and talking in the woods until along came a little girl with long flowing golden hair, and her name was Goldilocks. Ooh, ah, uh, ooh, ah. Well, she went knocking, but no one was there. She didn't care. Home from the woods came the three bears. Someone's been eating my porridge, said the papa bear, said the papa bear. Home from the woods came the three bears. Someone's been eating my porridge, said the mama bear, said the mama bear. Hey, mama bee bear, said the little wee bear, someone has broken my chair. Where? Well, Goldilocks, she woke up and broke up the party. She was out of there. She was out of there. Bye, 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 said the papa bear, said the papa bear. Bye, 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 said the mama bear, said the mama bear. Hey, mama bee bear, said the little wee bear. Bye, 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 bye. Awesome, friends. Thank you for joining me in that felt story rap version of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Friends, will you read with me? I have one of my favorite Goldilocks and the Three Bears type books right here for us to read. This rendition of Goldilocks and the Three Bears switches things up and is about Goldilocks and three dinosaurs, which would be even scarier to come across in the woods than bears, don't you think? One thing I love about this book is that it really changes up our expectations. Just when you think it's going to be bears, it's dinosaurs. And there are lots of other changes that Mo Willem makes to this book as well. So as we're reading, be on the lookout for what do you think changes from the original story. Goldilocks and the Three Dinosaurs by Mo Willems. Once upon a time there were three dinosaurs, a mama dinosaur, a papa dinosaur, and some other dinosaur who was visiting from Norway. One day, for no particular reason, the three dinosaurs made up their beds, positioned their chairs just so, and cooked three bowls of delicious chocolate pudding at varying temperatures. Oh boy, said Papa Dinosaur in his loud, booming voice, it is finally time to leave and go see the, uh, someplace else. Yes! continued Mama Dinosaur. I sure hope no innocent little succulent child happens by our unlocked home while we are, uh, someplace else. Har, 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 glung, glung. Then the other dinosaur made a loud noise that sounded like a big evil laugh, but was probably just a polite Norwegian expression. The three dinosaurs went someplace else and were definitely not hiding in the woods awaiting for an unsuspecting kid to come by. Sure enough, five minutes later, a poorly supervised little girl named Goldilocks came traipsing by. Just then, the forest boomed what could have been a dinosaur yelling, gotcha, but I'm pretty sure it was just the wind. Do you think it was just the wind, friends? 
I don't know. Look about those dinosaurs hiding in the trees. Are they coming for Goldilocks? The loud noise was immediately followed by another loud noise that sounded kind of like, Be patient, Papa Dinosaur. The trap is not yet sprung. But that could have been a falling rock or a squirrel. Either way, Goldilocks was not the type of little girl who listened to anyone or anything. For example, Goldilocks never listened to warnings about the dangers of barging into strange, enormous houses. So, as soon as Goldilocks came across a strange, enormous house, she barged right in. Yikes! It looks like the dinosaurs have set a trap for Goldilocks. Do you think she'll fall victim to their trap? Or will she outsmart them? Hmm. And what other differences can we find between Goldilocks and the three dinosaurs and Goldilocks and the three bears? To find out, you can check this book out from the library. I will put a link in the description below that gives you access to check out this book as well as other books on the theme of Goldilocks and the three bears. In this next section, we will be writing the word bear. If you'd like to join me, you can grab a pencil or piece of paper to write it down. You can have a friend or parent write it down for you to trace, which is what I'm going to do. Or you can even trace it in the air with your hand. Remember, any attempt at writing is a good attempt. So we are just practicing today. Even if we're writing scribbles on our paper, that is still great practice. We're practicing how to hold a pencil. We're practicing how to make marks on paper. We can even try making specific marks, like ones that go up and down, or ones that go left and right. You'll see when I write, I'm making lots of up, down, left, right motions in my writing. So making these motions on a piece of paper will really help you practice for writing letters. Let's start with our letter writing. Starting with a vertical line there. And then two loops make B. What's this next letter? Let's make it together. E. Next, we have a circle, and a line makes A. Finally, a line and a curve make R. B, E, A, R, B, air, bear. Will you join me for a rhyme? Today we are going to be rhyming Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear. It goes like this. Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, turn around. Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, touch the ground. Can you reach all the way down to your toes and touch your toes on the ground? Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, show your shoe. Let's see if we can stand on one foot and balance, lifting our foot up in the air, showing our shoe. Teddy bear, teddy bear, I love you. Teddy bear, teddy bear, give a jump a try. Can you jump at home with me? Teddy bear, teddy bear, say goodbye. Let's say goodbye to the teddy bear song. The end. Today we are going to do something really special together. We are going to make a recipe. This recipe is called Three Bears Toast, and it uses toast, peanut butter, and a couple of different ingredients to make bears onto your breakfast. For this recipe, you will need three pieces of toast. You can pre-toast the bread like I did, or if you don't have a toaster, it works just as well to make this as a regular sandwich on non-toasted bread. You will also need peanut butter, a banana, and some blueberries. All right, let's take all these ingredients and put them together to make our three bears. Here we are, I've got all of our ingredients ready, and I actually pre-made two of the bears so you can see what they look like. 
for the baby bear. I even cut the crust off the bear so that he was a little bit smaller than the mama and the papa. You can keep the crust on if you like, or if you prefer it off, you could cut it off all three. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is take our peanut butter and we're going to spread it onto our bread. I'm gonna put a big dollop in the middle here and make a little circle for the face. Doesn't have to be perfect. Then I'm gonna put two dollops in each corner. That's gonna be the glue that sticks on our ears. The next step is to add our banana. We need three pieces of banana. Two of them go for the ears. One, two, there are our ears. And this last piece is our schnoat. So there we have one, two, three pieces of banana. The last step is the blueberries. We're gonna need three blueberries as well. Two for the eyes, so let's put those in. One, two eyes, and then you can see my mine here have a little nose on their schnoot. I'm just gonna use a tiny dollop of the peanut butter as glue and stick it on there. And there you have it. There are your three bears in toast form. Here is our finished recipe, our cute little bear breakfast. Let's see how our bear tastes. Mmm. That is very good. You've got the crunchy bread, the soft gooey peanut butter, and the banana and blueberries make it very, very fruity and fun. They work really well with the peanut butter. A delicious, nutritious breakfast. Thank you so much for making that recipe with me, no. friends. So let's sing our goodbye song. Ready? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. See you next time.